Hi, I'm Pastor Bill, and as I have been praying about how the Lord would have me to shepherd the flock of God at Open Door Baptist Church in Moorhead City, uh, it's been impressed upon me that it would be wise to begin a video series of a word of encouragement for each day. Uh, these will be a brief and simple look at a short passage of Scripture which will hopefully provide some encouragement and stability uh, during these uh, days of dealing with the COVID-19 world pandemic, uh, which is leading to isolation uh, and separation and possible discouragement. Uh, today, I'm going to look at the passage of Scripture where this idea of a word of encouragement comes from, and in the future, each video will probably not be this long, uh, but this one being the first one, it seemed like a good place to introduce the idea. This is coming from Acts chapter 13, uh, where Paul and Barnabas find themselves in Antioch. Uh, they, as was their custom, go to the synagogue, and beginning in verse 15, we find that the rulers of the synagogue sent a message to them saying, Brothers, if you have any word of encouragement for the people, say it. So Paul stood up and motioning with his hand, he said, Men of Israel and you who fear God, listen, the God of this people Israel chose our fathers and made the people great during their stay in the land of Egypt. And with uplifted arm, he led them out of it. And for about 40 years, he put up with them in the wilderness. And after destroying seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance. All this took about 450 years, and after that, he gave them judges until Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king, and God gave them Saul, the son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, for 40 years. And when he had removed him, he raised up David to be their king, of whom he testified and said, I have found in David the son of Jesse a man after my heart, who will do all my will of this man's offspring, God has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus, as he had promised. Before this, his coming, John had proclaimed a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was finishing his course, he said, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he, no, but behold, after me one is coming, the sandals of whose feet I am not worthy to untie. Brothers, sons of the family of Abraham, and those among you who fear God. To us has been sent the message of this salvation. For those who live in Jerusalem and their rulers, because they did not recognize him, nor understand the utterances of the prophets, which are read every Sabbath, fulfilled them by condemning him. And though they found in him no guilt worthy of death, they asked Pilate to have him executed. And when they had carried out all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are now his witnesses to the people. And we bring to you the good news that what God promised to the fathers, this he has fulfilled to us, their children, by raising Jesus, as also it is written in the second psalm, You are my son, today I have begotten you. And as for the fact that he raised him from the dead, no more to return to corruption, he has spoken in this way, I will give you the holy and sure blessings of David. Therefore, he says also in another psalm, you will not let your holy one see corruption. For David, after he had served the purpose of God in his own generation, fell asleep and was laid with his fathers and saw corruption. But... He whom God raised up did not see corruption. Let it be known, therefore, to you, brothers, that through this man forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you, and by him everyone who believes is freed from everything from which you could not be freed by the law of Moses. Beware, therefore, lest what is said in the prophets should come about, 
Look, you scoffers, be astounded and perish, for I am doing a work in your days, a work that you will not believe, even if one tells it to you. Well, I hope that as you heard those words, that they were a word of encouragement to you. I'd like to draw out just two points of application briefly. One, please, during these days, I encourage you to repeat and rehearse the mighty acts of salvation that God has done in your life. If you are in Christ, then God has worked a miracle of salvation in your life. Do as Paul did here and rehearse that to yourself for your own encouragement. And two, did you notice that, that Paul pointed out, even in the darkest, most discouraging, heart-crushing day of of all of human history, the day of Jesus's crucifixion and execution and burial, in those days, he described them as all that was written and the fulfillment of God's promises for salvation. Is it perhaps possible that God is still working during these days of discouragement in your life? I know he is, and I hope that this will be a word of encouragement to you today. God bless you.